In Peru was Coral Brazino, the mother of Corporal Umberto Sanchez. Sanchez was one of 13 service members killed a year ago today in Kabul. Brazino says that her job now is to keep Umberto's legacy of helping people alive. Well, those 13 service members were honored this evening in Yorktown. CBS 4's Bianca Reyes shares how local veterans and active service members, including one who served with several of those fallen officers, are remembering them today. Very few people in this world write a check that's blank when they enlist. At American Legion Post 321. But these are veterans. They're part of us now, and they're our family from beyond. August 26th will now and forever be a day to remember. I just want to ensure that their names and memories are not forgotten. Exactly one year ago, our nation lost 13 service members during a suicide bombing at the Kabul airport in Afghanistan. One soldier, one sailor, and 11 Marines paid the ultimate sacrifice, including our own local hero, Corporal Umberto Sanchez. I met him in June of 2021, and then uh, when he went over to Afghanistan and Kabul, I mean, that was the last time I saw him. Staff Sergeant Stephen Miller has been in the Marines for 13 years now. In an effort to keep the legacy of our fallen heroes alive, he helped start this memorial service in Yorktown and is sharing stories of those he was lucky enough to meet. You know, Corporal Lopez, Corporal Page, and Corporal Sanchez, I played soccer with them almost every night for about two months. I didn't know, you know, maybe their best friend's name or their pet's name, but, um, you know, when you're, when you're overseas and there's, and there's just, you know, maybe, you know, a couple hundred Marines and that's all you have there, you know, in a few sailors, you know, those types of things are what you know, keeps you going. My kid being recognized locally, it's like a big thing for me. Their stories the Sanchez family is now used to hearing. Even like people that I don't even know just message me and say, hey, you don't know me, I don't know you, but I want you to know that your son was special. Humberto's mother says she'll never forget the 12 other lives lost one year ago. And this small tribute here in Yorktown proves that communities far and wide won't either. Our community have been amazing, amazing. Reporting in Yorktown, I'm Bianca Reyes, CBS 4 News. Advocates in Hendricks County are working to